Students, now let us talk about the flows in global logistics. We now know the essence of global logistics. Now let us look at some of the flows which are important for global logistics. There are three major flows involved in the global logistics. That is a material flow, a document flow, and a cash flow. Let us clarify the concept of these three flows through a diagram. So if you see this diagram, there is a material flow which is in the forward direction in terms of supply chain. So it would be from the supplier to the end customer. This is a traditional flow in global logistics. Now, recently, if you need to modify this flow, then the material flow should be in both directions because for an integrated logistics to work in this world now, you need to have the capability of reverse logistics. So then material flow would be in both directions. So aapka jo ye arrow hai material flow ka, ye dono directions mein hona chahiye. Lekin for the sake of convenience, ki if it is a traditional supply chain, so material flow would be in the forward direction. Traditional global supply chain, if I say. Then your cash flow would be coming from your buyer to the supply chain it would be moving from downstream to the upstream so retailer would be the one who would be actually generating the revenue and then there is a document or information flow which is normally taken as from supplier to the end customer but in the today dynamics uh, information flow or document flow would be in the both directions as well after incorporating the reverse logistics Information is important for the seller as well as the buyer. So for your upstream members, information is important as well as for your downstream members, information is important. For your retailers, information is important in terms of forecasting or true in order to know the true forecast of your product. Whereas that information will flow towards the upward or upstream supply chain members. Information is also required by the supplier or manufacturer for having effective product design or a better product design or the modifications in the product as per the customer requirement. So information plays an important role in global logistics as well. We should keep it in mind that it is the flow of information would not be that simple in a global logistics. Why? Because there would be different trends, different cultures, and different type of requirements around the globe. And if you are catering the demand of those people in those countries or those regions, you should know those trends. So the information would become complex. It's not that easy to handle in global logistics. So in global logistics, the three traditional flows actually poses a great challenge because the information is not that easy to be gathered. And at the same time, the information which you gather is complex enough that it requires a lot of deliberation and lot of discussion to be actually implemented that how would you actually uh, decode the trends in different areas and your product would yes you in global logistics we talk about products standardization yes but as per the cultures product customization is also important can can we give an example of product customization yes a very simple example would be a veggie burger in India introduced by McDonald's. Of course, having a global logistics, but as per the culture, they introduced a product which is as per the requirement of those people. Thank you.